Hi, I'm your host, Brenda Close. And I'm your co-host, Kaylee Smalley. And this is our podcast, Treasuring Education. Education. Welcome back to the next episode of our Empowering Parents series. Today we're going to unravel the mysteries of the school system piece by piece. So let's jump right into understanding the structure of the school system. It's important to note that every school has its own unique puzzle of roles and responsibilities, but we'll shed some light on the general divisions you'll encounter. Kaylee, could you walk us through the three general divisions within a school? These are the divisions at, a, at the school, not the district level. Absolutely. So first we have the administration division, and these are the folks who steer the ship. They oversee the overall operations of the school. Um, that might include the principal, assistant principals, deans, and other administrative staff. And really think of them as the captains. They make decisions and set the course for the school's overall success. Yeah, that's right. These administrators of the school, they ensure that everything runs smoothly and uh, they provide support for, for everyone, for both students and staff. They're the gatekeepers to valuable resources and they can always offer guidance and assistance. Exactly. And moving on, we do have certified staff, which encompasses teachers and specialists and these staff hold certifications um, in specific subjects or areas of expertise. And these are really amazing individuals. They impart knowledge, they inspire curiosity, and they really guide children's learning journeys every day. Yeah. yeah these certified staff members, they're the, the superheroes in the classroom. They create engaging lessons. They foster a love of learning and provide all the necessary uh, academic support. They include the general education teacher. You know, that's the teacher whose name appears on your child's report card. There's also um, special education teachers who assist in the classroom. They often adapt lessons to your child's specific needs or give additional support and help in a separate classroom. These special education teachers work closely with the general education teachers to ensure your child is learning the content of your class. And just for an example, so most student or sorry, most schools have tiered support. So students are all general education students first, um, but some just may require additional interventions and with resource room teachers. And students with these needs um, may be pulled out from a classroom for a set time every day or week. And then there are students with even more severe or complex educational, medical or behavioral needs, and they may need even more support within a classroom called the extended resource room. Right. So like at the high school or middle school level where there's several teachers, um, a student may have a specific class for the resource room. And so in the general education um, world, it doesn't even look like they're, quote, special education because it's just another class they attend. Right. Right. And within that certified staff division, um, we also have a range of additional special education professionals who provide very specialized support to students with more diverse learning needs. So these include emotional resource support, um, emotional resource room teachers who focus on helping students manage their emotions and develop social skills. And we also have speech language pathologists or SLPs. Um, we have occupational therapists and physical therapists who work collaboratively with students and the education team to address really specific communication, sensory, or motor skills challenges. Yeah, it's so important that we have all of these people to support our students. These special education staff members, they're dedicated to ensuring that every student receives tailored support that they need to thrive academically, emotionally, and physically. Uh, these specialists and their interventions make a tremendous difference in a child's educational journey. And let's not forget about the crucial role played by school counselors, deans, and psychologists. They also hold specific certifications in their fields. And school counselors provide guidance, support, and resources um, to help students navigate those academic, social, and emotional challenges they may face. And deans help maintain discipline, and they also create that safe and positive environment in the schools. And whereas psychologists work closely with students, parents, and teachers, and they are in charge of assessing and addressing cognitive, emotional, and behavioral concerns. So it's kind of a kind of a very close line, but they all work together to make sure these challenges are addressed. Yeah, very well said. 
Uh, each of these state or even nationally certified professionals, uh, we form a strong network of support within a school system. And together, they ensure that every child's needs are met, both inside and outside the classroom. Yes. And lastly, but not leastly, we have the support <laughs> staff division. Um, sometimes they are, they are called classified staff. And these are really the unsung heroes behind the scenes. They work diligently to ensure the school runs smoothly. And they include office staff, custodians, cafeteria workers, and more. Um, just think of them as the gears that keep the machine running smoothly. Absolutely. Uh, the support staff division may not always be in the spotlight, but their contributions are really invaluable. Oh. Uh, they play a significant role creating a safe, clean, and nurturing environment for our, for our children to learn and grow. A uh, special shout out to two more important members of this group, the security and paraprofessionals. That is right. And some schools have SROs, which are school resource officers, as part of the security team. And most schools, if not all, have paraprofessionals. Um, they might not have state certification, but their help in classrooms and other areas of the building support that academic, emotional, physical, and social well-being of our students. Absolutely. And it's also important to remember that each member of the school staff, regardless of their role, is a crucial part of that larger educational puzzle. So they all contribute to the success of our students. Right. And that brings us to the end of this segment. Uh, we hope you now have a clearer picture of the different divisions within your school and the important roles that they play. Just remember, every school is unique and some positions may hold different titles than those we've discussed here. Uh, but in our next segment, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of curriculum and explore what your child is likely to study and why standards are important to both students and teachers and even to parents. So stay tuned. Follow us on your favorite podcast platform to get notifications of our next podcasts. And sign up for our newsletter at www.treasuringeducation.com. <laughs>